Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of June the 10th through the 16th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have the Six of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Seven of or the Five of Swords in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana Temperance in the upright, followed then by the uh, Eight of Pentacles upright, and lastly, you have oh, good old Pajama Man, Knight of Wands in the upright position. All of your cards are in the upright position, Cancer. Your overall energy here is the uh, Six of Wands in the upright. This points to, uh, excuse me for a second here. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, the Six of Wands points to a victory. Congratulations. You could be getting, receiving some pats on the back this week. Uh, work well done. This is all about finally getting the recognition you so deserve. This could be completion of a project. This could be something you were working on at home. This could be something at work, um, maybe in your business, what have you. You're finally being recognized for your contributions. This is the prodigal son or daughter returns home too. So it could be as well for some of you that um, Maybe you're taking a trip back home or to a place where you haven't been in a while. This could be everybody's just super happy to see you. And um, yeah, there's that. It's a very, very positive energy. It's also a six, very balanced, so really nice. Coming into the week, however, you do have the five of swords in the upright position, which can point to conflict. Now, this could be conflict in inside of ourselves sometimes we're conflicted we're of two minds of something or it's heart versus head and we're not sure what to do but sometimes this can point to conflict with others it could be fights online it could be uh, just being at odds with you know family members it could be people in your neighborhood it could be uh, people at work this is just you know a conflicted situation maybe where people are taking sides just be careful of that energy coming into the week. But the next card is Sagittarius Energy Temperance in the upright position, which points to cooperation from the people around you. So perhaps there's something going on in the home, the, the neighborhood, or in your office where there's a little bit of a conflict, but it's beautiful to have this card following it because this represents, like I said, is this is cooperation and balance and great news for any of you who are baking because I call this my baker's card where we're mixing and blending and having everything work out just really really well so this could be going on some of you could be putting together an event it could be a, a charitable event it could be an event at the office it could be an event at home whatever is going on and uh, that could explain the six of uh, wands here too perhaps because this is a, uh, an energy of doing a really good job you're mixing and blending and having everything work out just perfectly um, it's also very healing energy temperance as well something you want to see after the five of swords which can represent a little bit of conflict so yeah it looks like you know there could be a, a sort of shake up at the beginning of the week but it looks like it's quickly resolved and um Moving on towards the weekend, it's nose to the grindstone, you're just minding your own business here, Cancer, just trying to get your work accomplished and trying to get things uh, completed and things done. And um, this is something that you, I feel for a lot of you is something, a project or something like that, that is really, really important to you. You've been working at it for quite some time. You want to continue to work in that area of your life. You want to continue to keep it moving, keep it because you feel like it's so solid already. So whether it's a relationship, whether it's your own business, or whether it's a personal project that you're working on, you've been working at it for some of you for eight months, others of you eight years. You've been working towards this and it feels like it's always been successful. Maybe for some of you, you're finally being recognized this year um, for your work, your hard work, because that's what that is all about. <laughs> 
Last card you have is uh, Pajama Man here, Knight of Wands in the upright position. This is Fire Energy, Aries Leo Sag, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You could be dealing with a very flirtatious um, uh, Quicksilver type of energy. The Knight of Wands does tend to be a little bit um, spontaneous, and it is weekend energy. This could be somebody sort of popping into your life here. Maybe this is somebody new for some of you who is very exciting. This person could be really passionate and they could be, you know, uh, offering you some fun adventure, some passionate relationship, which is what wands are all about, right? They're about uh, business and enterprise, travel, as well as passion, adventure, excitement. So it could be on any one of these fronts. Sometimes this can indicate a quick sale if you have, say, um, something up for sale, if you're selling your property or selling a business or something like that. Could be somebody's coming in for a quick uh, sale. This could be you putting in an offer as well too, because sometimes we can embody these uh, royal cards. So especially if you have fire in your chart, this could be you extending an offer out to someone else could be about business it could be a, an opportunity or an offer to travel for some of you as well very impetuous impetu the knight of wands but they don't stick around this energy doesn't stick around too long to deliberate so you either accept their invitation if not then they're gone or accept their offer quickly could be a, a job or business offer Again, this is just a general read, so just take what makes sense in your scenario. So in closing, I will be pulling uh, from the Wisdom Oracle deck your Wisdom card for the week. What do we have for Cancer? It's Imagine. Yes, just imagine all the fun adventures you can have this weekend. So that's what I have for you, my dear Cancer. I hope you have a fabulous week. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye, friends.